Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a general reading for Leos. Hey my lovely Leos, I hope you guys are doing great and are in the best of health. I'm sending you all my love and well wishes. So you guys know the drill. It is a general, so it may or may not resonate. You can always get a personalized reading. Please head to my Facebook like page, same name, Moon Girl Tarot and more, and message me on there to book an appointment, or if you simply want to say hello, I do interact with you guys there a whole lot more. I love interacting with you all, so feel free to dm me whenever you like and while you're there please follow and like i would so much appreciate your support and as always thank you so much for supporting my channel by subscribing liking commenting sharing i do very comment i do respond so thank you thank you and if you guys would like to bless my channel you can tip or donate through facebook pay on there or cash app moon girl 1111 so off the bat you guys have pretty great cards to be honest um secret admirers um stuff like that and um there's two cards i'm a little bit like eh, about that you might have to worry about but um it all looks pretty good it all looks pretty good to be honest so uh let's just jump right in so we do have the dog here so i do feel like you do have um some friends around you who who you can trust who are loyal especially if there's a new because i keep hearing new 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 friendship and there's some uh uh Maybe a new friendship that started blossoming. This is someone you're going to be able to trust or have a long um, friendship with. A good bond. You might bond in in higher levels. You might have even known this person in the 5D and had a 5D contract with them. So I do feel that there's going to be, um, especially if it's somebody new, a really strong connection here. Someone loyal to you. Because the dog's all about loyalty. Of course, if it's depending on the position it would mean something else but in this case loyalty and then we have the book uh pages or passages i'm sorry so with that being here i do feel like you're gonna get some sort of news here you might find something out maybe by accident and it's gonna be a little bit surprising and maybe shocking um i am feeling that it's more than likely going to be something good some kind of good news or nothing that would really cause major havoc in your life okay then we have the hands here which does mean friendly disposition however it's right next to card 42 that being said i do feel again and this can be this new friendship it could be an old friendship as well, but especially if it's a new friendship or a fairly new friendship. Uh, this can be something that slowly blossoms into something else. Maybe not right now, but maybe further down. Because I did, like I did say, I did feel like some kind of connection here. Maybe a soul connection. Um, like a soul sister, soul bro. It doesn't matter. Um, and remember, guys, there's a difference between soulmate, twin flame, and um, karmic relationship. You can have a soul connection with anyone it doesn't necessarily have to be a spouse it could be anyone you have a soul connection with okay and you can have several soulmates so but anyways i digress so back to that so i feel like it somebody here is kind of wanting to maybe explore this with you or vice versa maybe you have a secret crush on them or they have a secret crush on you okay because it, we have uh, right under that we got card 42 which means someone here is viewing you with loving eyes somebody here is you know you might have a secret admirer like i said maybe you don't even know that this person likes you or is viewing you that way or like now feelings are, are growing more maybe they're like oh you know what i never really looked at you that way but now i don't know there could be something going on you know um maybe being more open to that but like i said someone's um viewing you looking at you with great love and longing all right of course, this can be if you are coupled, the person you're coupled with. Okay, now we do have the fox. So be careful because, Leo, not everyone is your friend, all right? Um, this could be somebody who could be like, uh, maybe not necessarily in your inner circle, but kind of has mutuals. Uh, this could be like Facebook mutuals, Instagram mutuals, or just mutual friends in general. This person um, may act a little bit friendly, but really isn't kind of like the frenemy thing. So please be careful with this person, all right? If you do know who they are, you know to stay you know, away from this person, all right? Don't give them the time of day or the satisfaction. And then we do have um, the house, which is an excellent, excellent card, guys. This is success in all ventures, any type of ventures, anything you wanted to get off the ground. Um, with everything going on now, you have more time to put in your projects, stuff that you used to have in the back burner. A lot of these signs are getting uh, stuff. Um, this card and a few other cards. Um, 
So, you know, it, it's time to be very creative. A lot of people are going to be creative right now. But anyways, if your current situation does not seem very favorable, you're going through a hard time or, you know, you feel kind of stuck, rest assured that future events are going to cause things to progress for you, okay? And then let's move forward over here to the tower. So with the tower here, um, please be very careful with... Um, with your health or anyone around you's health okay with everything going on please take the proper precautions and this might not even have to do with the virus it could just have just any type of sickness or anything like that or you so said just be careful take care of yourself leo um then we have the we have the park here so with the park being here i do feel that there is going to be um for a lot of you some kind of new love here you know this could be this new friend this um, and it does, and with new love here, and with this card, it doesn't necessarily have to be like spouse. It could be new love, like friendship. Um, you know, um, just a new passion for something or someone, of course. And it definitely can be new love as well. Uh, are you having a new love in something that um, that's caught your attention, like a, a new interest? Okay. And then we have show that you care for your oracle card. So. And there's someone that you've maybe had a disconnect with or you just are falling out or you just haven't seen them or spoke to them for a while. Uh, please reach out. Um, even if they've done you wrong, uh, try to be the bigger person. It's not always easy and Leos do tend to hold a grudge. And I mean, it could be a well-deserved grudge, you know, no judgment. I know how that goes. But, um, you know, if it was someone you just had a falling out with or, or you haven't seen for a while, um, maybe you can just you know, uh, do a nice gesture, sorry, and maybe message them and just simply say, hey, I hope you're doing well. I hope you and your family are fine. And then just leave it at that, okay? And um, yeah, just so show compassion, basically, um, for someone that maybe you aren't in speaking terms with. All right. Um, and this is what I have for you, Leo. I hope this reading was at least of some help. If it was, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I so would appreciate that. And as always, thank you so much and stay magical. Bye, Leo.